What's up, folks? Still here. Yeah, Michigan just wanted to kind of give you an update um, out here at my cousin's farm. And uh, man, I am really enjoying our stay here. She has been wonderful. Um, feed us real good. Fresh fruits and vegetables straight off the farm. Fresh juices and smoothies, fresh as I've ever had in my life. Absolutely delicious. And man, I, I tell you, since been out here on this farm, man, I mean, I don't, can you see this barn behind me? Um, they got this big old barn. Man, I, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm impressed. My perspective on things have drastically changed. And, um, you know, for those of you all who don't know, everything we owned literally fits in the back of our truck, our Ford Flex. We gave everything away, um, sold everything in the house gave the rest away and dumped the rest in the dumpster. And you know, I have no more pressure, no burden, no nothing. And I found out my cousin, you know, over the last couple of days, we've been going through her garden on her farm. Um, they have 40 chickens, man, laying eggs. Um, this place is totally self-sustainable. They got so much food in the garden. And we're talking about a few hundred pounds of tomatoes just laying on the ground. 100 pounds of cabbage, um, okra, peas, um, pumpkins. They got, uh, what do you call it? Eggplants. They got um, um, tomatoes. They got peach tree. The peach tree so heavy from the peaches, the branch, the big branch just broke off the tree. Too much weight from the peaches. They got apple trees out here. Um, so much that I, I, I can't even I can't even remember half the stuff. Um, squashes, butternut squashes. Um, what else? Uh, uh, man, <laughs> they're taking. They're able to sustain and feed themselves. I found out that her house, 100% paid for. Um, she told me she owned 46 properties. You know, some of it she sells and most of it, all of it seems like she's just holding on to it. You know, that's that's what I call wealth. You know what I mean? Um, she has no debt. And I think she said they only have one car and that'll be paid off soon. And that's it, man. And that's what I'm talking about. Living life on your terms. I've gotten to a place now where Man, I, I I don't care. I ain't trying to impress nobody. A year ago, I'm trying to impress folks. Two years ago, I'm trying to impress. Hey, I don't care. Right now, I'm, I'm looking at, after being here today, you know, the last few days, I'm looking at life differently. I'm thinking about going out there and getting me um, a few acres of land and, and just put me a barn on that sucker and just live on the dog on, on the barn, in the barn, man. Who cares? You have no payment, no mortgage, no rent. It feels good on the first of the month coming up pretty soon. I don't have no rent to pay. I don't have any utilities to pay. You know, all that money is freed up. The more stuff you get, the harder you have to work like a freaking dog, man. And and and, and it's crazy. You don't have to. And uh, folks thinking they're going to retire only to find out that their retirement pay is going to be only about 65% of their real pay. And guess what? Because of all the debt and stuff they have, they can't afford to retire. They have to keep on working. I ain't trying to be like that. You know, I'm, I'm behind on retirement and saving. I've done a poor job saving my money and investing. And, um, you know, so I got to do things much smarter now. I'm having to build a business, which, you know, turns into a system that will provide me income for the rest of my life and build this thing right. Um, even after I'm gone, the, the business will still run, you know, but, uh, but the idea that you can feed yourself, I spend 150 plus dollars every week buying fruits and veggies, um, to make juices and salads. It's expensive, but knowing that you can produce this stuff in your own garden, I mean, their house, I, mean, I don't know if, can you see this windmill behind me? That's a windmill up there. And, um, it's connected to their electric meter through the power company and the energy this thing when the wind is blowing that windmill the energy that is generated is put into that meter and whatever energy is put into that thing and they use um, is deducted out of their electric bill so they're able to cut their electric bill way down because they're producing their own energy 
Same thing can happen with solar panels. You can put that on your house and practically get rid of your electric bill. They have no air conditioning in the house. Their house sits in what she called a wind path. Um, and they got windows all over the house. Everything is screened in. So the wind is naturally putting, keeping the house very cool. They got a lot of trees around the house. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see here. You can see all that shade. Um, let me see here. Where that house is at, there's a lot of shade back there surrounded by those trees. And you know, so they thought this thing through. So since you're not cranking, since they don't have an air condition, air conditioner, they're not they're not having to um, pay that extra electricity. Um, there's a lady across the street who does what is called woofing, which stands for Worldwide Organization of Organic Farms. And basically, this particular lady build these houses out of the earth from materials from the earth dirt and mud and all kinds of stuff we pulled to go over there today and take a look at that but they have volunteers who come over and in exchange they provide their skills and skill sets and knowledge to help them her build these communities and or houses in exchange she puts them up and provide them food and water you know of course and and, and, a, and a roof over their heads um I just met some amazing folks, man. People think differently. They're doing things differently. She hangs her clothes out here on this clothesline. I mean, I mean, come on, man. Life, this is your life to live it the way you want to live it. You don't have to live any way they tell you how to live. You know, we've been brainwashed, school. They have their own propaganda designed to create worker bees to go out into the system and work. But man, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna get me a barn, and I'm gonna live in a barn if that's what it come down to. Cause I don't want no payments. I can go live and do what I want because I'm not in debt. I can. That's the what. That's what living is all about. You know, I don't know where we going next. You know, I, we supposed to go to Colombia. Um, I can say, yeah. Uh, depending on how this this Toronto deal work out, waiting on these folks to call me back to negotiate a price on uh, on a piece of property, rental property for the next 30 days. And uh, if, the, if the numbers are good, then we'll go over there for a few weeks to a month and stay over there. If it don't, then we'll look at buying those plane tickets in a couple of weeks. And that's if we don't change our mind and go to California somewhere or Denver, Colorado. In fact, speaking of Denver, just got an email today, them folks saying that they're gonna make a digital, they're gonna, they're gonna they, they, they selling, instead of having to buy the ticket to the, the, the to attend the event, which is a thousand dollars, and then buy airfare and stay in a hotel, they're gonna stream and record that um, conference. So instead of spending all that money to go over there, I just gonna have to pay 199 bucks and I can watch it online. So I'm thinking about doing just that. And that'll save me a boatload of money. So I can start maybe saving toward my barn. You know what I mean? Finding some good land. So I know I'm just rambling, man, but I, I just want to talk about, about life, man. It, it's your life. You do what the heck you want to do. It's yours, man. No, you live it any way you want. You know, they got 40 chickens running around here, laying eggs every day. Walking out here, I watched them yesterday, walked up to the tree, pulled off three peaches, and just, just eating them. I'm like, man, that's good living right there. And if you got all these fruits and vegetables all around you, guess what? You're going to probably eat a whole lot better. And, um, and man, I'm trying to live to be a hundred, you know, which means I'm going to change my diet a hundred percent and just do things differently. So I ain't want nothing, man. I just want to give y'all an update and uh, I'm going to get her to talk about some of this stuff that she's doing um, that make her land and home self-sustainable where, you know, it take care of itself. She, she was talking to me about a heating system that you can put, um, in the yard and you feed logs into logs, woods, wood logs into it. And, um, you, it, it links up to the ventilation system in your home and it heats the whole house during the winter as long as there, if there wood going through it. And again cheaper alternative to burning that that electricity and you gonna get a natural heat and it's gonna smell good it's gonna be it's gonna keep your place warm 
and it's just gonna give you a real nice overall feeling so i'm gonna start doing me some research on some barns and uh man <laughs> i don't know where this life is gonna take us man but you know we supposed to travel for 10 months who knows it might only be for three months it might be for six months because i got the green thumb now i'm ready to go plant me a garden and uh and and, and, and see what's going on but that's it folks cartesross.com I'm going to talk about later on um, the things that we are doing to make money from the internet and uh, because quite frankly it's that income that is allowing us to travel about and do do what we do so if you want to learn more about that get on my email list at cartesross.com c-a-r-t-e-s-s r-o-s-s dot com cartesross.com thanks for watching have a wonderful day